Okay, so I'm going to work on this little dog for a little bit and show you how to do dog eyes. Basically, most dogs have brown eyes, unless you're a husky. I'm going to use some burnt sienna, which is like this orangey color, kind of a smaller round brush. Get a little burnt sienna around the edge here. I'm working wet on dry. And I'm just kind of going around the outer edge of the iris, leaving the white spots, which I've kind of drawn in a little bit so I know where those white highlights are, and all the way up to where the skin meets the eye. So that's a little bit of that sepia. And then I'm kind of weird. I like to use different colors to get my darks. I'm using a blue and a dark purple just to go around the outside edge. A little bit of water, a little bit of purple, and I'm going to hit the edge of this eye. And then I'm going to go around the edge here, just around the top. Clean my brush. I'm going to grab some more sepia. I'm going to kind of blend those together, the purple and the brown. So this is more sepia against that purple. Just pulling the purple in toward the middle there. Now I want that to be just a little bit darker, so I'm going to grab some dark blue. It's almost an indigo blue and hit that purple again, but this time with the indigo. And just kind of let it bleed a little bit. And I'm gonna use this to actually start the eyelid. So I'm gonna hit that a little bit on the outside, but then let it bleed in. Grab a little bit more paint. Get the edge of that eye, and now I'm going to go in there and get that pupil, allowing for those white dots. Clean my brush, grab a little bit more blue, get that dark spot. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of phthalo blue, which is more of a teal, turquoise, and I'm going to pop that in because that black pupil isn't just solid black. There's like reflections in dog's eyes, like the pupil is more of like a reflection of the light. So here's a little bit more dark blue, dark blue, you guys can hear lover boy in the background, that's awesome, dark blue. And now I'm going to just kind of branch out and do that eyelid, just get that eyelid in there a little bit more. And then there's like a little, what's that little piece of skin in your eye corner, I don't know what that's called. Okay, so grabbing some more purple, giving them an eyelid, to the bottom lid, leaving a little bit of the white of his actual eye showing, goes up, down, and this is going to feather, just a clean brush with no paint, just feathered, another clean brush, no paint, I'm just kind of feathering it, pulling it, cleaning my brush, and I'm going to feather it this way, if it wants to, it's not wanting to feather, there we go. All right, so I want to actually add a little bit more blue. This is going to be thallow. Sounds like a bunch of kids just showed up at the mall. It's getting loud out there. All right, thallow blue. Clean brush. Wipe it. Wipe the brush off. I'm just kind of dabbing it. And that's my neighbor making noise next door. I have no idea what they're doing. Normally they're really quiet. I don't know if there's any children playing, but they like to pound on my walls today. This is kind of like a violet color that I'm adding to this bottom lid. Just a little bit, and I'm going to feather that down. 
And then I'm going to come back with that dark blue again over this purple because it needs to be a lot darker. And you can see we're just layering colors here to get to that darkest dark. And I got in the eye. That's okay. I can fix that later. I'll let it dry and I'll come back and wipe that out. So this is that dark bluish. Grab some more. Just pop that in there. I know. I'm kind of whispering right now. I sound like Bob Ross because I'm whispering. But that's okay. I don't want to yell at you guys. Okay. So I just went a little crazy with that blue. Cleaning off my brush. Coming back with just a clean, wet brush. And clean off the brush again. I want to feather that. And feather it. Okay. Now I need. You guys can't really see the picture I'm working from. This is kind of a. It's a beagle, but it's a really light colored beagle. Um, so here's a little. It's real blondie. I need to get these little shadows in here. The shadows are real light. They're almost orangish, yellowish, pinkish. So I'm going to kind of use all those colors to get this shadow. That was my orange. Here's my pink. Get that structure of that. There's like some bone that goes through here. Then a little cheekbone. This is really white. So I'm just going to fade it with water. And then I'm going to come back with some lemon yellow. And add some lemon yellow to fade it even more. So I've got three, four different colors going on here. And I'm going to come back with some phthalo. Because this is how I work. I just keep layering and layering and layering until I get the colors I want. Now, the key is to use colors that work well together, that don't like turn into mud. See these are all kind of cool colors, purple, blue, even that yellow. Um, but you can overwork a piece. So there comes a time when you're like, you know what, I've been sitting here working on this part of his eye for way too long. It's starting to turn into mud. It's time to step away and just let it dry. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let that guy dry. And I'll come back and I'll probably just kind of go over this area here with a little bit more brown. I already know I want to fill this in. Just to add a little bit more depth. That's actually purple, not brown. I lied. Here's a little bit more of that brown. Okay, so you can see how it's just kind of popping along there. So then I'll do the next eye, and then I'll finish the tongue, then I'll finish the ear, then I'll go over here. I'm, you have to work in sections with watercolor, otherwise they start bleeding into each other. You can see how I left that white ridge, like I did the ear. I did the ear, I did the nose. So then you have to let it dry and then come back and start playing fill in dog. So I'm gonna finish him up and then I'll post you later. Bye.